We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Ooh, ooh, yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. The weather at Bahia Honda State Park at the end of January tried really hard to keep us there longer. As you can see, only the kite surfers could enjoy, and the park officials worried about him. We finally got a slight break on February 4th and made our run up to Naples. No pictures because it was a rough ride a good portion of the day. So when the waters calmed, we were ready to get all the way into Port of the Islands. It's an hour into the 10,000 islands to reach the marina, so we had planned to anchor out and wait until the next day. We were just so ready, so up the channel we went. We were greeted by so many friends and were glad to be on the dock before the sun set. The next morning we saw our alligator friends and the dock heron. Friends on the dock when we arrived told us that on the Airbnb boat behind us was a girl from Mooresville. We finally met Shara. Crazy story. Her grandparents lived about a mile from Dee and I, and where Dee grew up. Dee's dad and her grandfather were like partners in an appliance repair store a long time ago. We met her mom and stepdad, who have a place in Naples, her sister Kristen, who visited, and her husband Chad. When he came to visit, we took them out to explore Panther Key in the 10,000 Islands. Shara was here for a month with her dog, Higgins, who became a regular at our sugar scoop for a treat. We loved loving on Higgins. We also enjoyed catching up with friends from Naples. Mike and Carly just moved into their new home, and we were invited to a housewarming party, and Dee got to experience some virtual reality. Loads of fun to watch. I'm lost. What's going on now? You're, you're here. <laughs> it's okay. Is it over? <laughs> yeah, it's over. Okay. What, what, what did you just do? Oh. The lab. Huh? Next up is the lab. What did you just do? Uh, it was a tutorial about the controls. So, did you do anything? Well, I was pushing <laughs> buttons. And you were messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see right now? The lab. Loading the lab. But you don't see the lab yet? No. So it's no. just dark? No, I see the lab. What is the lab? It's like some castles over here, <laughs> some trees. That's okay. So you want to go to that area, that wall? Yeah. The way to do that is you move your thumb uh, and push the forward. See how? It, oh, okay. I'm there. Oh, you're now there. Now to your left. Oh, yeah. Now grab, that? grab that bow. Well, that's your right. Or your left hand. Oh, right. oh. Well, let's put that back now. Yeah, let go. <laughs> you got to let go. Open your hand. There you go. Now grab the other one. Okay. Grab it. Okay. Now. Oh. Now I can shoot. Yep. Pull back and hit those guys. Reload the, the arrow. Reload the arrow. Reload? Reload. Oh, there, we go. there you go. Got it. Okay. Now go. Shoot. So you're trying to hit those guys and then there's some targets. See the targets also? Oh, yeah. Do something simple. Yeah. 
you hit the balloons. Aim one towards the crowd. Those guys are going to be the bad guys. So once you shoot up there, they're gonna, you're going to release them. Try hitting the guy with the flag. The flag? Oh, okay. All right, oh. now they're going to start coming down the steps. Defend your castle. <laughs> Dee and I continued to explore the 10,000 Island area and all came back quickly for us. We did some much needed boat projects like out with the old and in with the new forward AC unit, and lots and lots of provisioning as we prepare for Mexico. We crossed paths with some more remorseful friends who have a camper in Naples and enjoyed sharing our experiences about our travels. Catching back up with Dan and Karen on board story was another favorite. We picked back up with lots of laughs and good times. We spent one day out on their boat floating in the Gulf of Mexico. Ready? Yep. Before we left, we said goodbye to new friends, Kitty and Dave, aboard Grand Plan. We're excited about what the future has in store for them and their new sailing catamaran. But finally, March 2nd arrived, and it's good travel day, so we are off the dock early, trying to beat low tide. Good morning. It is March 2nd. A little windy. And we were leaving Port of the Islands. See, that's marker 10. And we're not moving. Um, it is low tide. We knew we were coming out right before it. We were trying to, like, beat it all the way out. But, look, right there's the gulf. We are 10, just inside 10 markers from being in the gulf. But we are right at low tide now. The current is slowing and we think maybe in another hour we'll get just enough water back under us. Um, it's one of those really strange places that shifts a lot. But we are moving, wobbling, but we just are stuck, we think, maybe on the port side or maybe the front starboard side. It's hard to tell. Um, because the depth sounder is showing one and a half under us. So it's somewhere toward the front or the port side hull. But anyway, the sun's coming up. It is seven, almost eight o'clock. Might be eight o'clock actually. And we hope that maybe by nine we'll be off this little hump right here. We just need to get a little bit further and we should have plenty of water getting out. So we need some. We had gotten through all the other low spots, but this was the last one. Marker 10. I said an hour, but it was more like two before we could move off the sandbar. We missed the depth in the channel by about 20 yards, so close. We were still able to make Shark River where we planned to meet Saltwife, Scott and Mary for the evening, and dinner. As we pulled in, Journey was being held on the radio by Selaway, with Amy and David on board, who were also making anchor in Shark River. Everyone joined us on Journey for Cocktails. This is what we love about cruising. Beautiful sunrise as we are up and off early with Salt Wife, headed back to Bahia Honda State Park. We are ready for Mexico, but we need some good weather. Salt Wife is joining us at the park after making a fuel stop in Marathon. Rick and Christy are making their maiden voyage on the new Inked Mermaid, formerly Kulana, up to hang out with us at Bahia Honda for a few days. It's great to have three endeavors together and check out all the differences. And to hang out with the manatee. More Bahia Honda fun to come for like the next two weeks. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, oh. We are living in the moment, life full enjoyment.